Hello, Mark Johnson here, age 63. And I give you my age because I want you to know you can be fit into your 60s. Hey, I'm going to ask you to do me a favor or two in this video. First of all, uh, subscribe if you're not already subscribed and uh, hit the notifications so that you can get notified. I put out a video about every two weeks. Second favor is if you have any friends or acquaintances you think might uh, be helped by these videos, I would encourage you to uh, share this with them. Well, today's video is going to be a little different. Uh, I'm just going to share a couple things with you. First of all, uh, you're probably watching this on April 22nd, 2022 or later. And I've been working on a handstand on uh, these parallel bars. And uh, I'm just giving you a quick uh, update, making good progress, but I don't have it perfected yet. But I'm gonna make a commitment two weeks, two weeks from today, I will video it no matter how good it is or isn't. So uh, catch up with uh, that next video. Also, if you have any challenges you want me to take on, let me know and uh, I will consider it. Also, what kind of things do you want me to talk about? I've talked a bit about how I eat. I've talked about how I work out a little bit on the cardio I do. So if you have any specific questions or topics you want me to address, let me know and uh, I'll do my best uh, to take that into consideration. So with just a minute or two left, I want to challenge you with something very simple to understand, but not as easy uh, to implement. First of all, what are your goals in terms of your health? I want you to think about that and I would encourage you to write it out and be very specific. It might have to do with your weight, body fat percentage, um, increasing your muscle mass, um, athleticism, certain skills, whatever it is, write it out. And then the second thing, and by the way, what you write out, it should be challenging, but doable. Now you may not know at first if it is doable, but given your age, uh, your current fitness level, uh, your genetics and all of those things, Pick a goal that is stretching, but that you believe you can make it. Then the second thing, and this is critical, what are you willing to give up or to give in order to reach that goal? And here is where uh, many people fall short. They, they have a certain goal, they know what they want to accomplish, but they're not willing to give what it takes to get there. And here's the thing, if you're not willing to give what it takes to get there, then really you have two options. One is lower your expectations, or the other is to give more towards reaching that goal or a compromise between those two. Probably what it's going to take to reach your goals is consistent resistance training. For me, that's a couple of days a week, 30 minutes or so. Uh, may take some cardio. For me, that's about two days a week, very brief but intense. But for me, I think probably the biggest piece is that I eat uh, a very disciplined uh, diet. By the way, if your goal has something to do with weight control, many experts say that how you eat is 80% and the exercise only 20%. And perhaps that's something we can dig into a little more in a future video. But the thing I want to emphasize is you're not going to reach your goals if you're not willing to exercise consistently and hard, but also if you're not willing to eat a fairly disciplined diet. Talked to somebody the other day, they had a certain goal, but they weren't willing to change how they eat. Well, if you don't change how you eat, you're probably never gonna be able to do enough exercise, burn off enough calories to reach those goals. So think about that. By the way, you do have to decide 
what goals are worthy of that amount of time and energy. And I'll, I'll end with this. If I could get 10% greater results than I'm getting now, but to do that, I would have to give 50% more time, then for me, that would not be worth it. Like you, I have a life to live. I have other commitments, other responsibilities, other interests. So that's something to think about. How much time, energy are you willing to give? What kind of results will you get from that? So that little exercise can be very helpful. So here's to your health, both physically and spiritually. Catch you in the next video.